now with the Veterans to BSN program is a major focus of mine, which is a federally funded HRSA program to help veterans achieve their Bachelor of Science in Nursing degree. We are one of 30 schools, schools of nursing across the country. Um, we were funded in th three-year cohorts of 10. So we're in the second cohort. The first cohort has just finished their three-year funding. We are in our final funding, three-year funding. Um, we were awarded 915, just over $915,000 for three year, over three-year period um, to, to support veterans. So it has evolved, actually. The, uh, the federal government originally said we would like medics and corpsmen to be fast-tracked somehow in nursing programs to get their BSN. And um, because of regulations and accrediting bodies, fast-tracking is, is easily said but not done, which all of the cohorts and all the schools, because we talk monthly, um, have experienced. And so they've actually expanded from just corpsmen and medics to uh, vet, not only just veterans, but also reservists. So we have students that are both veterans and reservists and that are in our program. Well, each program has done something different across the country uh, with it. What we specifically have done was uh, um, hired an academic coach full-time who is a veteran, uh, is a Marine veteran, who was deployed um, at one point. And then we also have a recruiter who is specifically for the veteran to BSN. And she is retired from the Navy. She's, a, she's retired at the ripe old age of 32. Uh, and she was a turbine mechanic on uh, ships. And then uh, actually when she retired from the Navy, she'd been a recruiter for them. And our academic coach, um, after he left the, the Marines, was actually a coach for PNC Bank. And so it's critical for them is that they were enlisted individuals who had deployment experience they actually have no healthcare background. So it's actually the veteran and the military experience that was most important. And our goal was, was to create a culture, a military culture, a, a veteran culture that a veteran student could feel comfortable with um, sharing their experiences and bringing the positive of what they bring to the classroom and to a program, as well as offering them support for any struggles that they may have because of, because of their experience. We currently have 18 in the program. We've, we've had three graduates um, of the program. Uh, we have the students enrolled in our traditional four-year BSN program, our second degree accelerated program, and our, our online R into BSN program. We have a student in San Diego that we actually just met with. We were out there for a conference um, and, and met with him as well. Unfortunately, it's as long as any other student would be in the program. We're delving into giving credit for for corpsmen and medics. Um, we have a proposal and I'm actually going to, I'm working right now with a consultant to who has done this before. And they've consolidated uh, five years ago those training programs in San Antonio, Texas. So all military corpsmen and medics are educated and trained at this place in San Antonio, Texas. Mm -hmm. Because of Alexis's connections, our recruiter, we were able to obtain the course descriptions that they experience, and they and for the Navy and the Air Force, they actually take some courses that actually have nursing in the title. So we scrutinized the career, the coursework to see how much credit we could possibly give to a medic and corpsman coming in. Uh, so we're in the midst of doing uh, finalizing that proposal on how would we assess specifically maybe fundamentals that they could achieve. We're also we also learned and are sensitive to, although someone might have a title of corpsman or medic, in the military that does not mean that they practice this corpsman or medics. They actually could have been in an office uh, filing papers. So it's important that they have a actual field experience uh, three of the past five years in order to be part of this program. But we, ha we are proposing, hopefully, uh, given those circumstances, uh, be able to give medics and corpsmen from the Navy and Air Force uh, up to 18 credits uh, f towards their BSN. The Army, unfortunately, did not, their course descriptions were not as specific. And so it was difficult to give that many credits.